Thanks, James. I actually came to this mud wallow because I wanted to wash my hands after playing around in that elephant dung and eating our seeds, which are quite nice, by the way. And um, we didn't find any water. But what we did find was quite an interesting story inside this pan, at least anyway. There's a story here of two baboons that came down to the pan and wanted a bit of a game. And the one baboon walked into the, the mud and got stuck. And his friend had to come and help him to get out. And then they had a bit of a game and they jumped out. And I'm going to show you what I think happened over here. So the first baboon is this one here. The one that we can see these scrape marks in here. And that what we're looking at there is the tail of the baboon. The second baboon is his friend. And this is his footprints here. That's a baboon footprint there on the slightly harder mud. So this baboon came into the mud here and got stuck. Now hopefully I don't get stuck here as well. And got stuck here. And you can actually see where the mud has been pushed out. Then that baboon, the one, his friend, came and helped him get out because the tracks merge into that mess over there, which is where these two baboons were pulling at one another. And then from here, the tracks together walk out to about here. And from here, they jump across the water to there. Isn't that just an interesting tale that's told in the mud here? Very, very cool for me to see. So one baboon got stuck here. His friend came and helped him. They got out, walked to here, and jumped across and climbed out on the other side. Interesting, hey? Eh?